friends welcome again to my channel in today's tutorial i'm going to show us the perfect way of cutting a basic bodies okay actually this tutorial is um, a special request from one of my online students okay so um let's pay attention to the details now listen there are two ways of cutting a basic bodies okay there is the general method of cutting a basic bodies and there is the unique method of cutting a basic bodies okay um i must have taught us in my previous tutorial how to cut a basic bodies okay that's the general method of cutting a basic bodies but in this particular tutorial i'm going to show us the perfect and unique method of cutting a basic bodies if you follow these steps i'm going to reveal to us you might probably not want to use the general method of cutting a basic bodies because the outcome of this cannot be compared to the general method, the general way everybody cuts a basic body, okay? Um, now, to quickly get started, first thing to do is get your fabric, and if you, if you want to cut on a pattern, just like me, get your pattern, fold it into two as such, then take your horizontal, um, your vertical measurements, okay? As you can see, I've already taken my vertical measurement. There are two types of measurement. We have horizontal measurement, we have vertical measurement. Vertical measurements are all the measurements you take along the body, while horizontal measurements are the measurements you take ar across the body. Okay, that's your circumference, ball circumference, under ball circumference, waist, hip circumference, like so. So now I've already taken my vertical measurement and I took from here to here my bust line. This serves as my bust line. That's my bust line. From here to here, 14.5 inches, that's my under bust for this. Then from shoulder to waist, this is my waistline, 17 inches. Then from shoulder to blouse length, 25 inches. This is hip line, okay? So now that being said, next thing I'm going to do is get my shoulder. So the shoulder for this um, person is 14 inches, okay? So the shoulder is 14 inches, that's 14 divided by 2, that will give me 7 inches. So this is, this is 7 inches, I'll mark it, I'll come here and I'll mark 3 inches as my shoulder slope point, 3 inches as my shoulder slope point, that's the standard measurement for shoulder slope point. I'll come down by 1 inch. For my shoulder slants then i'll connect it to these three inches here like so so i haven't done that next thing i'll do is to take my arm hole so my arm hole the person's arm hole is seven so i'll just take come here seven i'll simply draw a straight line but just to be sure, I will have to place it like so to be sure it is seven. Can you see this part is more than seven? So I'll just take it like so. So this becomes the chest line. So next thing, I'll take a neck depth of five inches. That's neck depth of five inches here or 5.5. It all depends on what you want to sew then i'll simply connect like so to the three inches um, neck width the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to um take my arm hole so for the arm hole just come here get the midpoint come down by half inch then come in that's your across front my across front is um so I'm taking three quarters of an inch or one inch from this point, okay? So from there, I'll simply connect a curve with my curve ruler, as you can see. You make sure the three points touches this point, this point, and this point, such that when you draw your line, it must touch like so can you see so that being said next thing i'll do is it's time to take my 
um, boss nipple points. That's boss point to boss point. Okay. So for this person, so next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my darts. Okay. But it, because this is basic body, so from this point, um, the waistline, I'm going to take half inch um three quarter inch to the right three quarter inch to the left okay it varies on the person you're sewing for you can take half inch to the right and half inch to the left like so like so so i'm going to connect it to one inch below the bust point okay i'm going to connect it to one inch below the bust point like so so this is my one inch and here too i'm going to connect it to two inches above my hip line like so so i'm just going to connect like so so this is for the front block okay so next thing i'm going to do i'm going to take my um horizontal measurements now okay so for the busts so this is this is where the difference is okay at the bust so now for the bust the bust circumference is 38 inches the um under bust is 32 the waist is 30 the hip is 40 inches so this is what i'm going to do the 38 inches the essence of the difference between this and the general method of cutting a basic body is that for this particular unique uh, method i am going to allocate a higher proportion to the front bust compared to the back bust now looking at the female body structure at the bust region you will realize that the bust here contains takes more fabric compared to the back bust do you know why because of the bust this is the reason um, when measuring you allocate more to the front than the back unlike the regular way of cutting and sewing which will always refer to the bus as bus divided by four okay instead of bus divided by two the essence is just to allocate the actual proportion of the front bust and the actual the actual proportion of the back block the back bust which means that the bust at the front will contain more fabric than the back looking at this looking at this now when you compare from this side okay when you compare from here let me shift this thing to the back a little. When you compare the this demarcation here between the front bodies and the back, from this point, when you take measure the bust point from here to the bust point, which is ten inches, okay? So this ten inches now, hmm, I will use it. So from this point, I'm going to measure from this point, take it across the bust point like so to this other part you will notice it contains more fabric than when you measure from this point through the flat back can you see the back is flat and when you measure it to this part you will notice the front contains more fabric so what do we do in measuring you have to allocate more fabric to the front bust compared to the back bust you have to allocate more fabric to the front bust compared to the back bust. Unlike the conventional way of um, dividing bust divided by four. It's not as if bust divided by four is not okay. When you divide, when you say bust divided by four, you need to introduce enough that to take in all the excesses of the back block. Because what you are trying to say is that the front and the back are the same. Meanwhile, they are not the same. So what I'm trying to say, if a bust circumference is 38, just as 
it is 38, okay? So it will now be, above circumference is 38. So it's gonna be 20, 38. Um, so the front bust, I'm going to allocate separately to the front bust and separately to the back bust, okay? So for the front bust, it's gonna be 38. So my front bust is going to be 38 divided by two, okay? Then plus 1.5 inches, okay? So the front bust is going to be 38 divided by two plus 1.5 inches, okay? So that will give me, um, this is 38 divided by two will give me, that's 19 inches, okay? So this 19 inches, I'm going to add 1.5 to it. So that will give me 20.5 inches. So this 20.5 inches, I'll further divide it by two, okay? I'll further divide it by two and it will give me 10 one quarter inch do you know why i divided this 20 inches by two because my fabric is going to be unfold okay so what this means is that i'll come to this bust line now and i'll measure this 10 one quarter inch okay i'll measure this 10 one quarter inch you know ordinarily i was just supposed to divide 38 divided by four okay so if i divided 38 divided by four i would not have up to 10 one quarter inch which also means that the front and the back will be equal and it is not the same okay the front and the back um bust are not the same they are not the same okay so now for the back bust so if i've gotten 10 one quarter inch for the front bust so what then will be the back bust so the back bust will be this is the front bust so this will be the back bust will be the same 38 inches divided by two okay the back bust will be 38 inches divided by two minus 1.5 the same 1.5 i added to the front bust that gave me um 10 one quarter inch so i'm going to do the same formula here so this automatically means that the back bust will now be 38 divided by 2 which also will give me 19 inches okay so if i minus 19 inches i'm just gonna minus 1.5 from 19 inches and that will give me 17.5 inches okay so this 17.5 inches i'll go further to divide it by two so when i divide 17.5 inches by two so that will um give me 17.5 inches divided by two okay that is exactly eight three quarter inch that's 8.75 and 8.75 is equivalent that's decimal okay so if converted to fraction will give me eight three quarter inch so this eight three quarter inch is for my back block and this um 10 one quarter inch is for my front post so what do i do i'll come here I'll measure 10 three quarter inch I'm um, sorry 10 one quarter inch okay I'll come here I'll take 10 one quarter inch and I'll mark it down this is my 10 one quarter inch okay as my 10 one quarter inch so next thing I'm going to do is I'll come to my waistline I'm going to ignore my under bust now okay I'll come to my waistline I'll take my waist circumference so when it comes the the essence of this tutorial is is targeting the bust your allocation for the bust okay so for the bust i'll come to my waist now and measure my waist divided by four notes please i want to say something here it all depends on the client you're sewing for there are some people that have um big busts okay i'm um, sorry big um tummy okay so when you check your client's tummy and you see that it's um so normal human will have um a leveled tummy with the front and almost the back okay so that's why we divide by four okay so you can decide to ignore this rule and use the normal waist divided by four and that is exactly what i'm going to do here okay so here it will now be 7.5 that's for the waist the waist is divided by four is 7.5 then i'm going to add this that you know the law of that says whatever that you take you are to return it back okay so this is 1.5 here so 7.5 i'm going to add 1.5 so that will give me nine inches so i'll come here and measure my nine inches okay so wherever the nine inches gets to you mark it down so this is it don't forget this is my bust here so now next thing i'll do is i'll take my hip 
um, measurement, okay? So for the hip, the client's hip is um, 40. So it's going to be 40 divided by 4. That will give me 10 inches, okay? So I'll just come here and measure 10 inches. Because the hip, I'm going to add um, ease allowance. So I'm just going to add half inch for ease. So I'll take it there. So next thing to do is to connect all the lines, okay? So don't forget, the same thing you have taken here, you come to chest line and take the same thing too. That's 10, 1 quarter inch. So I'll simply connect all the lines. So I'll just connect this. I'll connect it straight to the waist. Just like I said, in this case, you ignore the under bust, okay? So I'll just connect it straight to the waist, like so. Then from this point, I'll connect it to the um, hip, to the hip, like so. So this automatically means I am done with the front bust, okay? And the front block. Now, to round up this front block, I still need to take my boss dart. I still need to take my boss dart. So quickly, to take your boss dart, you just come here, okay? You come here. Before I take this boss dart, I want to draw attention to something. This is basic bodies, right? You can still decide to tighten your under bust. And how do you tighten your under bust? Just, you know, I said I connected from my waist to the bust point, um, to the bust um circumference right that's to this bust here okay thereby ignoring my under bust so what this means is that if you want to tighten the under bust more than it is like this is just basic bodies okay just just per venture you want to tighten the under bust more all you need to do is just to get your um under bust circumference divided by four so whatever answer that is you measure it so by the time you measure your under bust divided by four, make sure you add whatever this dart is. You add it to it, okay? So when you when you measure this dart, when you measure this dart, let me take my tape. You measure this dart, and you see this is like a um, three quarter of an inch. So three quarter of an inch, you add it to your under bust measurement. So wherever it gets to, you mark it, okay? So now the difference that is remaining here, you just check how many you have here okay so whatever difference you have here you will come back here and divide it by two and place on both sides such that you connect it straight to this connect it straight to this and bring it down here and that starts for that okay so now that's i'm, I'm just um, showing us that part of the tutorial so now to come to my bust um that so i'll come here and take a bust that of two inches okay you can decide to take a little proportion from here sorry bust that of 1.5 inches because for this person the difference between our front and our back is 1.5 inches so and i'm going to take it away from the bust that okay so the 1.5 inches i'm just going to place it like so you can come down here and take 1.5 inches connect it to one inches or 1.5 inches above the bust point like so okay so you can also share it come up a little so i'll just come up a little that's half inch up then i'll take one inch here half inch up i'll take one inch here then here so i'll simply connect both So now, I've been taking my bust that. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add my side seam allowance, okay? So this is how to perfectly cut your basic bodies for the front, okay? This is how to perfectly cut your basic bodies for the front. So I won't cut this. Next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to place it aside and cut for the back block. The back block is going to be different and I want you to pay attention to details on the back block because it's very important so now it's time to cut um, the back block okay now for the back block this is extremely important this is very important this is the essence of this tutorial okay as we can see right in front of me is my front block 
we all know how I arrived at this point. I allocated more proportion to the front bust compared to the back bust. So now, and I took my bust darts because I taught us that, I, I told us that the bust darts will help to um, solve the problem of back reduction at the back, okay? So now this is, let me just keep this aside because I've already added my side seam allowance and everything is perfect on this front post um, block. So let me just place this somewhere. So next thing to do now is to cut the bag block. And now to cut the bag block is very, very simple, but please pay attention here because this is the essence of this tutorial. Okay. Now to cut the bag block, first thing I want to take is my vertical measurement the same way we did for the front block okay but this time around i am not going to take um it the normal way as in when we want to cut the general method of cutting the front and the back okay so for this the back block the the bust location for the back block is a little bit higher than the front bust because the bust at the front, if you trace your bust at the front to the back, you will notice that the level at which, for example, if the front bust is 11 inches, that means your back bust will be minus 1. That's um, 11 minus 1, that will be 10 inches, okay? And if you notice, when I was taking um, the front um, block, I said the bust was 10.5. So here, it's going to be 9.5 for the back, okay? So it's going to be 9.5. So now, I haven't taken it 9.5. I'm going to draw a straight line. So next thing is, after this, next thing is my half length. Okay? For the half length, I said the half length is the front half length minus your bust that. Okay? That's the difference between the front and the back. But because, you know, normally, if we were to cut... um. If we were to be cutting a peplum now, it's very simple, it's very easy. We know that we'll just measure from the shoulder to the waist. We don't need the hip, okay? If it's going to be half length, we just measure shoulder to your half length, right? You can easily remove the dot, the bust that from that measurement. And after that, you just measure shoulder to your half length at the back minus your bust that that's minus 1.5 inches so if the um, front bust is if the front half length is 17 inches for example so the back half length will be 15.5 okay but what i want to reveal to us this is not half length cut this is not a peplum top this is a full blouse so how do we still um imbibe that same um, principle in this case this is what this tutorial is all about and you have to pay attention to details to get it once and for all okay so now it's still the same thing but a little bit tricky now watch what i'll do i want to measure 15.5 here the front bust is the front half length i took is um i took 17 inches for the front the back will be 15.5 and this is how i'll measure it see I'm going to place my bust dart of 1.5 here. I'm going to place my bust dart of 1.5. Can you see? I'm going to place it here. So take 1.5 away from your measurement. Can you see? Like so. And measure 17 inches here. So this is where 17 inches gets to. So I'll simply mark it. Same thing I'm going to do here take 1.5 inches away from the measurement and measure take 1.5 inches away from the measurements and as you place 1.5 on the starting point and you measure 17 inches here so now i'm going to draw a straight line so this will serve as my half length i'm going somewhere with all this so this will serve as my half length for the back. So after measuring it, I'm 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 still going to show us something. You know. I'll also take my half and uh, my full length for the back block. Okay, don't forget the 1.5 inches is going to affect the overall full length for the back. 
so you still place your 1.5 inches like so then you measure the full length of 25 you know i took 25 for the front so now i'll measure 25 like this i'll also come here take away 1.5 inches there and i'll measure 25 So next thing I'll do is also to draw my straight line like so. I'm going somewhere. Now, I want to say something here. If I measure from here to here, can you see? From here to here, this is exactly 8 inches. Can you see? This is exactly 8 inches, right? From here to here, this is exactly 8 inches. If I take my front block and I measure from here to here, it's also 8 inches. From here to here, can you see? It's also 8 inches. So what am I trying to imply here? I'm trying to say that the half length reduction at the back has nothing, absolutely nothing to do with the down part of the blouse because this is a full blouse okay this is a full basic blouse so it has nothing this is from here to here is your um this this is my hip line this is my blouse length that's hip this is the waist and this is the bust okay so now here to here is eight inches here to here is eight inches it has nothing to do with the lower part of the blouse the the, the the part it has everything to do with is the half length now when we now measure from my shoulder if i measure from my shoulder to the half length you can see i have 17 inches i have 17 inches for the front half length right from shoulder to this part is 17 inches but if i want to measure my half length for the back this is the back if i want to measure the half length for the back let's see what i have can you see exactly i have 15.5 inches i have 15.5 inches i've been able to eradicate excess fabric at the waist region for the back block because the front and the back waist is not the same the reason i am taking my time to analyze this so that we understand the uh, the human the female structure properly so do not assume that half length for this person is the difference between the half length for client A is two inches. And you now take the same two inches for all your clients. It is totally wrong. You measure each client according to, because there are some people that have bigger busts. The, the bigger the bust, the more the difference. So you can't compare somebody that has a smaller bust with somebody that has a bigger bust. The, the back half length and the front half length, the difference will not be as much as someone that has a very big bust. Now, let me see for this one. Seventeen two. Let me see the back. So I'll simply place my tape roll and measure the half length for the back, okay? So for this particular one, it's 15 inches. Let me raise up the, okay? So it's 15 inches, okay? So that means the difference between the front and the back is 2 inches for this person. And it differs per person. So half length for the back depends on body structure, okay? The bigger the bust, the longer the half length. It could be 1.5, 2 inches, 2.5. The least you can use is 1.5, okay? It is not the same. Even if you want to cut a full blouse, it is not the same. The same principles uh, principle applies to when you are cutting a basic gown. You don't cut your basic gown the same length with the front, which a lot of people make mistakes. They make that mistake and you now realize that by the time you um, join the front um, gown and the back gown together you'll notice there's an issue 
the front length and um, the back length will be longer than the front which is not supposed to be so both are supposed to be equal so please let's take note of this okay the front half length is 17 the back half length is 15. despite the fact that there is shortness at the back half length can you see can you see the bust for the back this is the back bust is higher than the front bust the waist for the back is higher than the front waist meaning that the front waist is longer than the back waist can you see the, the level at which the waist is the, the the shoulders are are leveled but the bust and the waist are not leveled but after taking my bust that if i take in that bust that now everything will be leveled and you notice that the the hip of this um, blouse length will match with this blouse length but let me proceed with the back tutorial so quickly quickly since we have done that let me just take my um my shoulder slant take my shoulder measurements it's still the same thing like i did for the back the difference is the length um seven inches then i'll take my shoulder slope point of three inches shoulder slope point three inches just like as i did with the back come down by one inch connect it like so You notice that the armhole for the back is closer to the bust at the back because actually the bust does not the back does not need any bust measurement but just for reference purpose and to be able to get your um armhole perfect either okay so this is so I'll quickly take so the measurements the for the front, the that's the front half the length front. and this is exactly I'll 17 inches, I'll turn it and take for the back measurement for the back blade, and the, when I turn it, the across back um, for the back is not as deep as across front, place okay? the so for this, I'll just take off half inch. down. You see, this is exactly half inch. Then 15 take inches, okay? Let me raise it up. 15 inches so the difference between the front and the back is two inches for this person okay so this difference in persons okay it could be 1.5 inches so next it could be is, two inches or line, probably 2.5 inches okay so it differs completely it differs but the least you you can take is um, um 1.5 inch yeah. inches okay please take notes So now that's been said so next thing is to work on this part okay so what i'll do is i'll quickly take my boss points to boss points so whatever the boss point is impute it here and please note for the back boss point okay you are going to add I forgot that we're going to add half inch to it. Okay, we are going to add half inch to it because of the sway back effect we are going to take on this part. So I'm going to take it at four inches because of the sway back effect. Never you cut your back block without the sway back effect. Okay, that helps to eradicate because the essence of this part, um, this tutorial is that we do not want a situation whereby there will be gaping at the back. Okay no excess fabric at the back so eradicating every every excess at the back that's the essence of this tutorial now i'm not just going to stop at the boss point i'm going to go up by two inches because the dart for the back is higher 
compared to the darts for the front okay so i'll just draw my line like so from here then next thing i'll come here and take my darts off before i take these darts after drawing this you can take the darts then come here to take your sway back since i've already added half inch here okay since i've already added half inch here or let me just take my darts taking a dart of half inch half inch here half inch here connect it to this so i'll just connect it like so So after taking it then i'll come here the same way we did for the front measure two inches above the hip line like so then i'll connect my darts so i haven't taken my darts next thing i'll come for my sway back effect so from this waistline you know i talked about eradicating excess fabric at the back because most times the back when when after sewing you see some people the back there'll be pokery at the back okay this is also a, a eradicate excess fabric around the zipper region okay so i'll just go in by half inch and i'll connect it to the midpoint that's from the top here to this part just find the midpoint like so is nine four three four two inch connect it to the midpoint like so so for this particular one you just bring it to the down part if the person is slim but if the person is not that slim you bring it to maybe three inches above this point okay so you just take it like so and connect just connect it like this so that being said this part um is set okay so now if you notice um, if you look at this uh, back very well you notice that this part is now 1.5 you know when we started i left one inch zip allowance okay but this point is now 1.5 which is not supposed to be so okay so all i need to do is to come here from this point i'm going to measure half inch it is because i i went in i i i went in by half inch to eradicate excess fabric okay so i'll come here and measure half inch and i'm going to connect this half inch to exactly where i joined i stopped here so i'm going to connect it like so so what this means is that i no longer need this part okay i do not need this part anymore so this is not necessary again this line okay you know this was previously the zip line okay so i do not need this again this is out of it now to quickly round off this tutorial as you can see i've been able to reduce excess fabric here i've also reduced excess fabric at the waist so now let's take the um, circumference do not forget i said the back half length um sorry the back block the back bust is 8.35 why the front bust is 10 one quarter inch right so it's this 8.35 i'm going to measure at the back so i'll just come here to the bust here starting from this new line so i'm going to start from this new line okay this new line i'm going to measure from here now not from here not from the old line this place i x is no longer needed okay so from this new line i'm just going to measure eight three quarter inch 
so this is my eight three quarter inch so i'll mark it there but do not forget there is check the dart here this dart here measure it i have this is roughly 1.3 it's not up to one quarter inch 1.3 so a three quarter inch plus 1.3 that's almost nine inches so i'm going to place it like so exactly so this is it so i'll mark it same thing i'll come here and mark it here after doing that i'll come to the waist you know for the back block there's no need for under bust under bust is not relevant at the back block okay so i'll come here i measured the waist and you know for the front i measured waist divided by four so for the front i took waist of um, 7.5 inches okay so here too you measure 7.5 inches but do not forget there's a dart here and the dart here is not up to the dart i took for the front because the front that i took one quarter m um, one quarter inch one quarter that's three uh, 1.5 but here i took just one inch because of this half inch i've already taken here okay so for this that is one inch so i'm going to add one inch to 7.5 so that would be 8.5 and i'm going to start from i'm gonna take it i'm actually going to take it from this new line not this old one so from this new line i'll just measure 8.5 like so okay so next thing i'll do is come to the hip line the hip line still remains the same if divided by four i added ease so you can add your ease so all i need to do is just to connect all my lines together It's time to cut it. So, can you see? This is my final outcome. Can you see that looking at the pattern, the front block, which is this, is longer than the back block? Okay. So by the time I take in this bus that, okay, by the time I take in this bus that, like so, if I close this bus that, you will notice that both the front and the back will now be equal. So I'll just use my masking tape to hold this. So let me just hold it temporarily like that. So now, can you see that looking at it after taking in the bust that okay after closing the bust that the bust region um the bust region can you see 
it's now caught here okay so this is where it is going to accommodate the bust okay now can you look look at this part very well can you see that the hip line is now equal the hip line that's the blouse length is equal the waistline is equal despite the fact that the front waist and the back waist are not the same i reduced the back waist here instead of 17 inches that i measured for the front i measured 15.5 for the back and despite that the back and the front waist are now equal can you see they are equal when you look at the blouse length too both of them are equal can you see both are equal so this is the perfect way to cut your basic body there is always a perfect way of doing things okay i'm not saying the general method i mean the general way we all cut um front and back block is not um okay okay it is okay it will give you uh, a result but in this tutorial the essence of this tutorial is just to give you a more better and a more unique results that is what this tutorial is all about okay so can you see how perfect this looks so imagine cutting this out on a fabric and sewing it you will see that the end result can never and i repeat in any form be compared to the general method of cutting a basic bodies okay um the i will always say this that the difference between a poorly finished garment and a super bone is in your measurements. When you take accurate measurements, it equals to perfect finishing. By the time I sew this, I transfer to fabric and sew, you will notice that the back, there will be no form of pockery at the back. Towards the zip region, look at this part now. Towards the zip region, I've eradicated excess fabric here. I've eradicated excess fabric here. Um, I've also taken out that here, excess fabric, okay? By the time I join the um, zip, I saw my zip, I joined the front and the back together with its lining, you will notice that you will get a perfect basic blouse. So that brings us to the end of this tutorial. I hope you try this out and try to always cut this way rather than the general method we've all been used to okay so try it out if you enjoyed my video kindly give me a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe to my channel for more professional sewing tutorials from me thank you